Bethany here and welcome to my channel. Today I am playing around with the Not Too Shabby Shops Stamp and Die of the Month set. It's called Winter Vibes and it's for the month of November. I really love these adorable, adorable snowmen and I'm going to go ahead and start creating a scene. You'll see I have taken a scrap piece of paper I'm going to place my magnets down and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp out with the Eclipse Black both my sentiment and the main stamp I want to use for my scene. And because there is so much detail in this stamp, I am using the Stamparatus from Stamp It Up just to make sure I get a great impression and I'm going to also use my Smoosher for Maker Forte to really push down the stamp and the sentiment here and make sure that I get a very nice even coat and doing it a second time there's a few spots that weren't super clear but for the most part everything stamped out pretty well for the first time around and using my smusher once again and I love the impression. And taking my coffee filter, I'm going to go ahead and emboss with some holographic Maker Forte embossing powder called Diamond Glaze. I'm just going to go ahead and put a light dusting. I'm just adding that little bit of glitz and sparkle and shimmer to what's already there. I did not use the anti-static powder that is sitting and staring at me, but that's okay because even if I get a little bit in the edges of where I don't want it, it's just adding more sparkle and glitz everywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that back in to my little jar here. And now I'm going to heat from behind on the highest heat setting to make sure that the embossing powder does not fly off of the paper and you'll know everything is melted when the white crystal turns back to clear or you see the black again and it's shiny now i'm going to go ahead and cut this out on my cuddle bug using the dies that came with the kit and now that i've run it through my cuddle bug i am going to take my picker poker from Maker Forte and I am just going to poke out the little bits that are in the little fence here and take them out of the dies and now we get to start coloring. Now you see I've zoomed in and I'm going to start coloring. The first color I'm choosing is the R8 Geranium from the Ohuhu markers and this is a very deep dark red. Not sure why I picked this red. No real rhyme and reason. It's just the first color I gravitated towards. But I'm going to do kind of a candy cane stripe. So I'm going to go every other square is red and every other square is white. If I did yellow, I guess I could be um, a Harry Potter scarf. <laughs> I see those every Almost every time I'm out and about nowadays, and I'm like, that's a Harry Potter scarf. The maroon and yellow. All right, now actually let's make the earmuffs color coordinated here right off the bat. Now the rosiness in the cheeks, I'm gonna go a little bit more pink. So this is the R5 cherry pink. A little brighter coloring. And we'll keep it the same for the little the littler guy here. I want some dark coal, so I'm going to use the 120 black. And coal for the nose. Same thing for this big nose. These aren't carrot noses, so <laughs> I feel like if it were a giant orange, it would look like a, I don't know, a really weird carrot. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to go ahead and then grab a lighter brown, the terracotta R. YR5 to put down the branches and I will also do the tree trunk the same color. 
I want the fence to look like it's a white picket fence. I am going to take this cool gray and it is a super light color. It's just going to darken up the white so it's not stark white. As it dries though, it's going to stay fairly light and still look like it has a little bit of textured dimension. If I were really being detailed, I would add wood grain to it, but I'm trying to do quick and easy today. <laughs> now I'm actually going to use the same gray and I'm going to add a shadow to the top of the sewn because what snow is completely white with no shadow. I'm going to add a shadow to the headband as well and to the edges of the snowman here. Just give them a little bit of dimension. This is a trick that I learned from Elizabeth Costa Rogers. You should check out her channel too. It's amazing. But I really like what this does. Because I'm flicking, I'm not doing a straight line. There's a little extra dimension added to the snowman as well. Now I am going to use this grass green. It's the GY2. And I'm going to do flex first of this lighter green because we're going to give the tree a little texture. So by doing these flex, we're starting off by texturing the tree and then we'll add a little bit more as I go. All right. And I'm going to use the GY5, which is called Absinthe. And that I'm going to put on the edges. And it's not necessarily a lighter color. It's just a different green or a hint of yellow, brown. Now I'm gonna put little streaks in the middle. And now I'm gonna go for G2, which is vivid green. And this is the darker green. This one I'm really gonna punch up. I'm gonna let it blend in organically with the two greens that are already there. This automatically becomes my shadow by the way I'm laying it down. And I really like the effect that that creates. Lastly, I'm going to use the black again for the top hat and just going to put it here. And the reason why I saved the black of the top hat for last was because I didn't want to be doing the tree and you know how when you color, sometimes you smash your finger. I do this a lot when I'm sketching, but I'll put my fingers that are leaning on the desk or countertop and they end up um, <laughs> they end up creating smudges on what I'm trying to color and keep clean. Alright, I'm going to use the brighter red. I was going to use green but I thought it was too close to the tree so I'm just going to use that red so it matches the cheeks. And there is the colored snowman. Now we're going to create a scene for them. I am going to use this Maker Forte stencil set. It is called Build a Snow Globe. And I am going to go ahead and build a snow globe around where I think I am placing my little snowman. So the first thing to do is to place my snowman. Um, I am going to use the pixie spray to have the stencils adhered to the paper off screen so i don't want to spray things on my mat here and then trying to be as even as possible because i want my background to be mostly in one spot and already i see i've placed it in a different home than i wanted it <laughs> this is why I like the pixie spray though because it lets you remove it pretty easily without having too much extra work to do. And now I'm noticing I'm a little crooked so once again I'm gonna replace it. And I think I put too much pixie spray on this but that's okay. Not everything needs to be perfect. I really like using this, sten this stencil. I've used it several times. You can see all the residue on a lot of the different things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first lay down my blue. I'm going to use the Muscle Car Blue from the Color Hive. 
and taking my brush, I'm just going to mostly brush it onto the edges. I'm really not going to do a whole lot in the middle. And to take away those lines, I'm just going to smooth them out. The snowman will cover up most of this anyways, but I want to be conscious of the fact that it's there. Now, while this stencil is down, I'm going to go ahead and create my snow splatters. Using this brush from Ikea, I have some water here in a little cup. I have the Color Hive Snow Flurries pigment ink pad, and I'm going to move away my little things that I don't want to get splattered, move them out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mix that snow flurries in with a little bit of the water. I think I put too much water there. So I'm gonna put some of the pigment ink back onto the brush. And then I'm just going to splatter light splatters, but enough to make it look like a snow globe. And that's all I need for that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the stencil gently so I don't tear the paper because I had all that extra pixie spray on there. And because I have all that excess pixie spray, I'm going to use the mono sand eraser and I'm just going to remove as much of that pixie spray residue before I start the next part of the technique. Then using a feather, light feather brush, just to brush off the excess. Now I placed the base down with uh, painter's tape instead of using the pixie spray, mostly because I don't wanna have to deal with pixie spray on top of the things I've already inked. Now I'm going to take the flat white and I am literally just going to smush it through the stencil because I want some texture. I just have to pick the right angles to do this from. I like the unevenness that is created by smushing straight from the pad. And if I don't like it, then I can either take a brush and blend it down or try something else. This to me just, you get the texture from the pad and it's just a little bit different than usual. So I like it. And there's what it looks like after. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a vignette around the rest of this. So the stencil set comes with the opposite. So you can blend around. So it becomes basically a mask for your stencil set. And I'm going to tape these two together and I am just going to hand hold them. I'm not going to tape them down or anything because the vignette that I'm going to create is mostly just around the edges. I will be using the Independence Color Hive ink and using a blending brush keeping the color heavy on the edges and super light towards the inside. And using a combination of swishes, swirls, straight lines, really not wanting to have a full coverage of the ink color, but enough to feel festive. And to blend out some of those darker lines, I'm just adding more color to my brush I find a few more places I want to blend out the lines, so I'm just going to risk it and do it without the mask there. But I think that's a super fun, cute, pretty start for the scene. And there we go. And now I'm going to add back the snowmen with foam tape. So I'm just adding the foam tape, covering up my ink so I don't accidentally smush my fingers or ink myself up with the ink. <laughs> the things you think of after the fact sometimes are funny. I find that a lot of times I am working on a project and then I make a mistake and I'm like, well, why, why didn't I think to do that initially? Hmm. So we are going to have these cute, cute little guys coming out of the snow globe. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's kind of a play on the snow globe look. 
I initially wanted to make a shaker, then I realized I didn't have the items I would need to make a shaker. So instead, this is what we have. I am going to add little bits of um, white jelly roll on the edges of some of the tree branches to look like they are snow covered. And then also providing a little bit of dimension and highlight. I'm gonna do the same thing on this hat here. I'm gonna just put a little highlight line on the noses, a little bit of tuft on the tufts of the earmuffs and on the heart as well. Before I add anything more, I'm going to add the telephone box from Maker Forte just around the edges just to give a little deeper red to the edges. I think having just the one color that I was relying on just wasn't enough for me. So I'm just going to add little bits of that just to really beef up the emphasis of that vignette look. And now our snow scene really stands out for sure. Now I'm going to add the sentiment, marry everything, and I'm just going to use the excess of what's left over on my brush just to tone down the starkness of the white. Give it a little highlight shadow going on too, using the muscle car extra. I'm going to use a few bits of foam tape to add the Mary everything right to the base. And I think that is super fun. And now I'm using a card base that I actually made myself using a tool that a subby sent me um, a couple of weeks back, I believe. It's, don't ask me for sure, I, it's been a long while. But this is my first official card base that I made with the scoring tool that someone sent me and that was an absolutely I was shocked cried a little bit and thrilled about it <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that to be uh, coming from Amazon to me and <laughs> this person just absolutely floored me that they just thought a bit about me and I had you know I've been having a couple of rougher days because Three or two out of the three children have been teething and so yeah that just adds to the fun but I made this card base to fill or I made the card front to fill the full card base so that when you open it up and you see the blue it's kind of just refreshing to have something that's not necessarily fully there and represented but then you get this nice pretty blue when you open the card all the way. So I'm going to put this under a little bit of pressure as it dries to make sure that it doesn't warp because there is a lot of glue. Even though there's foam tape, there's still glue involved in this. And here is the final result of the Merry Everything Snowman Snow Globe scene. I really, really love this new stamp and die set of the month from Not Too Shabby Shop. I think it is absolutely adorable. I had so much fun playing with it and I'm looking forward to pulling it out again and maybe making a shaker card or some tags. I think these would be absolutely adorable for so many different holiday and Christmas themed and just regular winter thank you cards, anything like that. So I hope you all had fun playing with me as well. And I will have links down below for anything I can give you links for. Also, don't forget to check out the shop. I have some sale items in my shop that, well, let's just say I was supposed to end the sale this weekend and I forgot to push the button. And I have a show coming up this following weekend. So looks like I probably won't be resetting the prices quite yet. So take advantage. Uh, <laughs> I am also offering a very low free shipping at 35 
which is not supposed to be at 35, but once again, I forgot to press a button to make it go back to the normal price. I also have affiliate links, so if you shop some of the places that I shop, please feel free to use my affiliate links so I get credit for some of the things that you buy. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to find the joy in your day and happy making. Bye! We'll do the tree branch the same color. I mean the tree trunk, not the tree branch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, please ignore the fact that I just colored in a part I didn't mean to. Good thing it's mostly white anyways. And I'm just going to remove as much of that pixie spray before the pixie spray and I probably should do this on screen so you can actually see it. How about that?